What's up everybody? Back again with another video. This video, now that my Regal Coin account is open, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I just want to take the time. There's still there's no exchange on the on the platform. There's no exchange on the Regal Coin platform. What's up everybody? It's your boy Crypto Baller back with another video. Uh, this one is about buying Regal Coin on the the exchange. Um, the exchange I prefer is actually Coin Exchange. Um, coin Exchange, and I have a few a few little coins over there. I'm starting to buy back more, uh, accumulate. Um, this is Coin Coin Exchange. Um, so we're looking to buy Regal coins. We're looking to buy a Regal coin for um, to be used on the Regal coin platform. Either we're gonna lend or hold or whatever the case may be. Um, if you're looking to buy a Regal coin, you have to buy it on an exchange. It's available on the Coin Exchange. That's CoinExchange.io. This is one place you can go and, and, and buy the coin. Now, if you've used, if you've used BitConnect before, the, the, the exchange platform, the exchange looks similar, pretty similar to, um, to that exchange. Uh, just the way, the, the way it's set up for you to buy and sell tokens. Uh, but right now, what, say we wanted to buy a Regal, you would have to go here and click deposit actually you're deposited in your bitcoin now your portfolio on coin exchange has a wallet and in that wallet there are as you can see these are all wallets for all the different tokens that are on the platform so when you log in and get your account you want to go into uh, balance my account yeah you're going to balance right balance and then you have basically you have all all the coins you own they're they all each these are all their individual wallets so if you have bitcoin that's bitcoin wallet if you have regal coin that's regal coin wallet litecoin on all these are wallets right so you want to get bitcoin because you have to use bitcoin to buy regal coin so you have to go to bitcoin here click action deposit right and when you click deposit you get this Boom! You get that, or you scan it if you have a um, if you have a a wallet on your phone. You can use your phone to scan the code and send money over. So you got to send the, your Bitcoin into or whatever currency into your Bitcoin into um, Coin Exchange, and then you have to trade it, and then you trade it for for Regal Coin. Now, once it comes into your wallet, it's now available in Bitcoin, so you can go to the and Regal Coin still sits at the top. And then you can you go to markets, right? You want to go to markets and you click on REC, which is the Regal Coin. And then you scroll down here. And this is where it this is where you can buy you can buy Regal, Regal Coin tokens. All right. Um, I have some here. I have a little dust hanging around in here. I have about 10 Regal coins that I, <laughs> I kind of lost track of. I didn't realize that stuff on this um, exchange. But that's what happened to us, huh? We, we're running around doing so much, man. We forget, we forget, you know, we, lo we lose track of a little thing sometime. And they're like little blessings because they come back around and boom, look, I got 10 Regal coin here. I didn't realize I still had coins here. And some Bitcoin dust. There's a little bit of Bitcoin dust right here too. So, this is how you would buy a Regal coin. You kind of look at the last trade. I, I normally just look at it. I, I click on the last trade. Um, the numbers come up and then I, I just enter the amount of Regal coin I want, depending on how much it is. Right now it's like $56. I don't know, say I want one or two, say I want two Regal coin. You see the number, the number changes, right? The price changes. Say I want three, see the price changes here, right? Your total is in B. This is the, the price for it. So three Regal coin would cost me 004, 008 in BTC. All right. And to get a calculation of that, you want to 
copy, copy. I, I normally, I use Prev. You can use Prev or I use the, to, to calculate my Bitcoins or I use the, um, the volatility software page. And I can go here and I just put in, what's that now? What's that one Bitcoin worth? Pace and it's worth $57. Okay, so that's the price for one. Uh, say I want three, you put the, 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 the amount you want in here, right? Depending on how much Bitcoins you have, because remember you sent Bitcoin already to the exchange. So you have Bitcoin sitting in your Bitcoin wallet. You come over to the, the market, the market section in um, Coin Exchange IO, click on markets. Then you click on REC for Regal Coin. And this here you have it. This is the, the chart. And then you have the, the exchange buy and sell um, interface right here. And you come to the, the green, which is the buy rec coin or the sell, which is the sell. And yeah, you, you basically, this is the market where it trades the sell orders, the buy orders. It looks cumbersome. Don't even pay attention to stuff on the side. This, this yeah, that's a lot of numbers running around in here, but it's, it's not that confusing. I mean, you know, a few couple do get to do it a few times to get used to it. So this is your buy and sell orders. You come here, you buy, right? So you, you always look at the, like the last trade. I know it is click on that one, click, click, click it anywhere. And all these numbers enter in here. And I just put, I just take out the, the amount from the top and put the amount that I want. So see, say I want five you're going to see the total change, right? All these numbers change. They adapt accordingly to the current price and the volume you want, right? And then with that said, you press submit, buy. Now, I'm not buying anything here. So normally, sometimes when you press buy, your order may not go through immediately and might sit in the market for a while. You can cancel it and do it again. I, I've done that quite a few times. I, I place orders and I want to get it out at a certain price and it's sitting there in the marketplace and I just, I just cancel it and I buy again. So yeah, so when you do that, when the, when the sale is made, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go into, into your outstanding order. I mean, you guys are used to that. You're pretty used to that from buying, buying and selling uh, Bitcoins and, and buying and selling different, different, um, trying to buy different tokens during ICO, you know, sometimes, all right, sometimes it sits, it sits there in the market. It sits in the market, your order sits in the market, right? The same thing here, it might sit in the market and, um, you know, I just release it. Sometimes I cancel it and I go back and do it again. But yeah, so when you do that, now you go back to your, go back to your account, you go back to balance, right? And it'll, it'll tell you that you have regals here. It'll tell you when you say I bought, just bought 10 Regal from that transaction. And then what I do now, I go action and then I go withdraw. So now I sent Bitcoin into the platform to, to make the purchase of the Regal coin. Once I make the transaction and I got my Regal coin, now I want to re, re, withdraw it. So I need an address to send it to. So I want to send it to the Regal coin platform. I want to send it to the Regal Coin platform, wallet, wallet. So you go to wallet and you want to get the re oh, mother of Michael. Man, of course it failed. Let me just enter this Regal coin information here in the two factor. Uh, it can be a pain sometime, but you know, we have to go through it. But um, yeah, it's a, you know, now that the exchange is not there on Regal coin, this is the reason why you have to go, if you want to buy a Regal coin, you have to go on the exchange. If you want to do a loan, 
in Regal Coin, you have to go on the exchange and buy and buy the token, right? And it's it it seems a little intimidating, but it's a good process to get to get familiar get familiar with, right? It's a good process because you may have to go and do it again. Oh man, this is oh. so. Anyway, I don't want to go through all that. Anyway, so yeah, you come in here, you get your token, you get your token from your wallet. You you put the Anyway, the token here to get access to the wallet, you get the information from the wallet. You get your Regal Coin information from your wallet. Deposit Regal Coin. It gives you the. I'm pretty sure it's going to give you the um, the Regal Coin wallet address to deposit to. And yeah, you just send it over. You go back to to the exchange. You put the Regal. You put the amount to withdraw. You put it here. And there's the fees and the withdrawal amount. Um, you put it. right there amount to withdraw right and then you're gonna put in the address right there right the address it's gonna go to and yeah so it's pretty straightforward it's pretty straightforward the key components of the coin exchange is markets and my account my account holds your regal coins withdrawals and deposits right you want to make a deposit you got to deposit bitcoin right you deposit bitcoins and then you do the trade at the market and then you do your withdrawal and you send it over to the regal coin site where you're going to retrieve your regal coin address and you send it into the regal coin site and then you can go and you can do your loan right anyway just wanted to give a little video on that because I noticed that the uh, exchange is still not uh, working on Regal. The exchange is still not working there. So there's no way to exchange your Bitcoins, Regal coins, on the platform. So you have to send Bitcoins to Coin Exchange or any other exchange that's selling Regal coin, trading Regal coin. Get an account, easy to get an account. Um, get an account there. Send your Bitcoin over, just like you send your Bitcoin into the Regal Coin site. Send it into the exchange there, and and trade it. You're trading it for Regal Coin, or you're buying Regal Coins. You're using Bitcoins to buy Regal Coins. Then you withdraw your Regal Coins into your Regal Coin wallet that's here on the exchange, on the Regal Coin the Regal Coin um, platform. Okay, so there's no there's no exchanges right now so because there's no exchange right now you have to go on the exchange and buy your regal coins and then send it back into the regal coin platform and do your loan okay but do your loan do your loan compound some interest get that interest coming in baby hey that's the best way to feed feed the beast and the beast is going to feed you you do some loans and that compounding interest comes back every day and then you're going to have money to chase more i codes you're going to have because you know you're creating what you're doing you're creating your revenue stream right there right you do the loan you get the you get the interest and use the interest to chase icos you just use the interest to put a, a 200 dollars here on this ico a 300 dollars there on that ico you know but this is what the lending platforms do they create that revenue stream you know and then with that revenue stream coming in you can go out and yeah, invest in ICOs and then, you know, put, bring your money back and lend it to the bot and you keep that, that system going, man. You're, you're going to build up, you know, you'll build up a nice little revenue stream, a nice little cash flow for yourself. Lives are being changed out here, man. Jump in. Okay. Like, subscribe, hate, comment, whatever you, whatever drives you, whatever motivates you. Um, show me some love. I'd appreciate it. All right. Once again, like, subscribe, share, comment. And yeah, have a great day. Uh, just wanted to do this little video. My account is open again. I'm going to do a video on my account soon too. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.